What is best in life? To crush your enemies, see them driven before you, and to hear the lamentation of their women. All right, welcome in again, everybody. We are here with another tutorial for Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020. This is a multiplayer tutorial on how to um, process your turn once you're done doing whatever you're going to do. Um, so you see here I'm in a multiplayer league setting here. I have uh, completed my turn, but before I show you the exact process to follow at this point, thought I would walk through just a couple of quick things here. Um, most of you that have played know what all of these are, but there might be a few guys that haven't really um, played that much or fully uh, learned what everything is. Um, pretty self-explanatory across the board here. I'm not going to worry about these top three here, or the three on the right, but strategy basically is setting up your strategy with how you want to play, um, defense and offense. Depth chart is the depth chart and how you want to set up uh, how guys get subbed in, what roles they play, that kind of stuff. Uh, recruiting class is the incoming recruiting class that you've got coming in for the next season. Uh, stats, pretty much what it is, shows all the stats. Your roster shows your current roster with their current skill level and their potential skill level. Um, staff shows your current coaching staff and uh, all the details about them, how many years remaining on their contracts, what, uh, where they're assigned, things of that nature. <coughs> and then your dashboard is just general information about a lot of stuff. Um, on the left side, uh, polls and media is basically what it is. It's, there's a lot of good data in here for when you're going through your season. Um, has the top 25 polls, uh, RPI, you got some news items that can tell you what's going on around the um, around the league. Uh, magazines, which has their own set of data that's kind of cool to look at. The Norton Watch, uh, current awards. You can also, you can do it overall or you can do it per conference, which is kind of nice. Injury report, you can see who's injured on which teams. You can also uh, break that down to per conference. And then once you're into the tournament, you got your bubble watch for those teams that are trying, uh, on the outside looking in, trying to get into the tournament. Um, next you have standings, that is standings in each division or each conference. League leaders, uh, that's leaders of the entire NCAA or you can break it down to um, two per conference. Uh, Almanac, you really, I mean you can play around with that whenever you want. Coaching tree, those are just, just cool little stats, stuff to look at for later on. Tournaments just gives you a list of all the tournaments um, and who the previous winner is. Key dates uh, is exactly what it is. It just tells you all the key dates and gives you a nice little um, uh, legend for icons and stuff. Uh, your office is basically going to give you your information on you, where your record is, how you've been, uh, so far with your attributes, what your current goals are at your job, your spread chart of your, um, your skill set, and then what your philosophies are. Uh, inbox exactly what it is it's your emails that you have uh, phone is for calling obviously uh, alerts notes I'm not even gonna mess with those you can figure those out pretty easily um, recruiting players is where you actually do your recruiting during the recruiting season um, practice plan is where you set your practice plan normally you would want to set this to kind of match what your strategy is uh, whenever you do something in the practice plan you need to make sure and save here before you go out and do anything else if you don't save here and you go somewhere else, you'll lose what you did. So always save here. This is the only screen where you have to save before you leave. Um, which brings up a point that a lot of people might not realize, but when you're setting your depth chart, you should, whenever you get it set how you want it, you should always store that lineup. The store lineup will give you a green notification here when it stores. The store lineup will only hold one stored lineup at a time. <coughs> so if you hit it again after that, it will overwrite the existing one. But if for some reason your lineup ever gets screwed up or say somebody gets injured for 60 days and you take them out of the starting lineup, put them down to the bottom and take all their playing time away, uh, and then you want to put them back in the starting lineup after their injury is done, you can just hit restore lineup and it puts it back to how it was. So it's an easy, quick um, way to save your lineup and restore it. And then lastly, the assigned coaches. This is where you can actually assign what your coaches will do. 
You can sign your recruiting coach, uh, your practice coach, your scouting coach. Scouting pretty much only takes into effect the scouting ability. Recruiting pretty much takes into effect just the recruiting ability. <coughs> and then practice, I believe the way this works is practice um, takes into effect three things. The player development and then the defensive concepts and offensive concepts. Player development is how well they grow in skills. The offensive concept and defensive concepts are how well they grow um, f during practice sessions for those actual concepts. And and also when you change here, you do need to save here too. I forgot that there was a save button on this on this uh, page here. So that's this, there's two pages where you have to save when you make changes. This one and the practice plan. Um, so the offensive and defensive concepts are if you go in and look at a specific recruit um, let's look at my good guy here here's your proficiencies and deficiencies these are directly equatable to those offensive concepts defensive concepts so when I practice motion which is in my practice plan um, or, fl or flex let's say uh, when I practice flex this guy will go up points um, potentially raise in points based off of my coach's offensive concepts um, skill level and how much he learns through that practice session from it so he could go up anywhere from nothing and stay at 66 or he could go up to you know four points to 70 or two points to 66 so it's really just kind of random based off of of, of a bunch of different um, points one of those being and i'm not sure how heavily inflated or influenced it is but one of those being the offensive ability of my coach that I have assigned to practice um, so anyway when you're all done what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna save by clicking this and then clicking save but before we do that um, I'm gonna show you one thing that will happen based off of where you're at this is how I'll explain it when you click in here and save you want to save it on any screen except for your office. So if you go into your your office screen first and then you save it, it will save it, which is fine. But what's going to happen is you'll notice in here when we save this, if we go into our game here, you'll notice it generates all these uh, SHM and WAL files for every coach that's in there and it shouldn't do that or I'm sorry let me rephrase it it's not that it shouldn't do that it should generate those on the fly but it should also remove those immediately and it doesn't remove them when you're on your office screen so now if I go in and I hit export MP file you're gonna notice I'm gonna get a green notification and I'm gonna get a red notification the green says it's uploaded successfully and it did upload but the red means that it's not completely correct because when it uploads it tries to upload these SHMs and WAL files too and it shouldn't those files should not be there so what you're gonna to want to do at this point is if you leave your your office screen and I pull this back over now you see it removed the SHM and WA files from everybody except for the beast but those are still there now if I tried to um, export now it's gonna export my COA file my coach file it's gonna not see that SHM and WA a L file so it should upload just fine so if I come back into here and I hit export MP file which is the last step that you do you'll see I'll get just a green notification and no red notification green is good red is bad so in this case I'm good to go it exported my file perfectly no problems now I'm gonna show you real quick here come back out here I'm gonna come off my office page um, and I'm gonna explain to you why you should save outside of your office page first before you um, go into your office because when you save if you remember right when you save it generates those SHM files and WAL files right you see I just saved it generated all those files 
and if I go into my your office file now it takes those files away and then you can go ahead and export so it won't hurt if you save from your office and then go away to a different page and then come back into your office like I did before that will still work it's just extra steps um, and it, what it will do is it will also put those extra COA file or I'm sorry SHM and WAFL files in your folder structure and you don't really want those in there now for me to get rid of these files the only way I can do that is to either completely shut the game down and just delete those files manually or if I go back to the main menu whoop, main menu log out of this game and then load right back into this game you'll notice as soon as I load back in it removes them so you can either just close the game delete it manually or you can go to the main menu log back in as soon as you log back in they're gone they'll be out of your folder structure and that's what you want you do not want to load your next game up with a new game file having those SHM and WAAL files so something to keep in mind but the actual process again as I just stated we'll walk through it one more time real quick is when you're done with your turn you save first and then you go into your office and you export your MP file your multiplayer file you should get green only when you get green only you're good to go your turns done now once you've done that and your turns done you come back in you want to do some other stuff you make some more changes no problem just save it export your MP file again when you export it the new time it will overwrite the existing one as long as that turn has not been processed yet you can hit export MP file all you want it doesn't matter each time you export it it will overwrite the existing one and make the new export that you just did your newest file so you can make changes all you want all the way up until the second that it's processed um, that will always be your your process of how you want to do a turn throughout the actual regular season and most of the time through the off season there will be a few opportunities or times during the off season when you won't actually use this button you'll export from a different spot those are when you're doing hiring coaches um, transfers and dealing with transfers and then um, one or two other instances I can't remember off the top of my head but on those you'll actually hit the advance button first to get into what you're doing and then you'll hit um, there'll either be a green button up here that says export file or there'll be another blue button down here that says export MP file again in those cases you'll hit those buttons there and not come into your office to do it um, but we'll walk you through those those times when we get to them for those of you that are new that are still learning how this process works so that is going to be it for this tutorial guys thanks for getting on and watching hope it was helpful as always if you have any questions feel free to ask anybody that's done this for a while can give you a good solid answer uh, we will see you in the next video and have a good one Lo there do I see my father Lo there do I see my mother and my and sisters and, and my brothers, brothers. The line of my, my people, people back to the beginning. No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the brave may live.